Everybody, herkese merhaba. Ayşin Önder ben. Welcome to Link Turkish Grammar videos. In this video, you will learn how to make a simple sentence using the imperative verbs in Turkish. Just a quick note before we started the lesson uh, is that I will recommend some other videos while I am teaching uh, because I don't want to make this video very long and repeat the same thing over and over. Uh, so those videos will help you to understand the lesson better. So what is the imperative? Uh, the imperative form is used to order someone to do something. Uh, we mainly use for uh, giving direct orders, suggestions, warning or comments to a second person, uh, which is sen uh, in Turkish. It's very easy to use, just use the plain verb without suffix or change. Uh, these are some examples. Uh, when we say gel, gel means come, git means go. Buck means look, and they are all addressing to a second person. Uh, these are some examples, but you can watch this video uh, to learn the most common uh, verbs in Turkish. You can also make a simple sentence by adding objects to the sentence, uh, but in Turkish we say object first and then verb. Object plus verb, because Turkish word order is subject, object and verb. Uh, the verb takes a place at the end in the sentence. Uh, I recommend this video uh, to learn more about Turkish sentence structure. Okay, let's see the examples. Uh, we have three verbs here. Al means take, oku means read, konuş means speak. So I'm writing take the pencil or take a pen. Kalem, al, object, verb. Kitap, oku, read a book, speak Turkish, Türkçe, konuş. In Turkish, we don't say konuş Türkçe or oku kitap, al kalem. We often use any imperative verbs in comments, uh, but they sound very direct and not very polite. Uh, it's better to use a, a polite word, uh, such as lütfen, uh, before or after the sentence. Uh, lütfen uh, means please. So you can say, please come, lütfen gel, please go, lütfen git, or Kalem al lütfen. Lütfen Türkçe konuş. Now I will teach the negative form, uh, like how to say don't, uh, don't go, don't come, don't uh, eat. Uh, so to form a negative imperative, we simply add negative suffix to the verb stem. Our uh, negative suffix is ma, and this suffix has two forms, me and uh, ma and uh, this suffix changes according to two-way vowel harmony. Uh, if you don't know this uh, harmony system, you should watch this uh, video. Uh, but just a quick reminder, if the verb is ending with one of the back vowel, uh, we will add ma suffix. If the verb is ending with a front vowel, we will add me suffix to make negative. So how can you say don't? Don't do is yap, yap. So yap has a back vowel. Uh, I need to use ma suffix to say don't. Yap ma. We will say don't tell. Tell söyle. Söyle is ending with a front vowel. Uh, I need to add me suffix. Söyle me. Don't tell, or you will say don't run. Kosh is or is back. Uh, kosh has a back vowel. Kosh ma. You can still use please with the negatives uh, when you say don't do that, please. Yapma lütfen. I say don't go. Please don't go. Gitme lütfen. Or lütfen gitme. Lütfen koşma. 
Uh, actually, we have three different forms of imperatives in Turkish grammar, but we are teaching the other uh, forms in the next level. And uh, today you learned the easiest one uh, because this video for A1 level. Uh, in the next video, I will be teaching four-way vowel harmony. Gelecek videoda görüşmek üzere. Hoşçakalın.